Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today's adventure carries quite the hefty price tag. Now, the camper setup that y'all are about to see would be possible if uh, this particular farmer, let's say, had quite a few really, really, really good seasons because this is an Earth Roamer, a Earth Roamer XXL HD, which is already in itself going to be right around $1.9 million. But once we fire it up, and then you realize what we're about to pick up over on the other side of the farm, the price goes up even further. So let's fire this thing up. It roars to life. And let's go ahead and start backing it up. Now, in the interest of keeping with a somewhat realistic feel and vibe, this truck has not been modified to produce crazy power. It produces about 950-ish foot-pounds of torque, which is actually pretty far in line, or pretty close in line, I should say, with what one of these 6.7-liter diesel-powered Fords would make in real life. Now, that right there is the rest of our camping setup. And it is... A Ford Bronco, a new Ford Bronco, attached to a car hauler. Or I should say, loaded up on a car hauler. And this is the setup that we're going to be using to head off to our camping destination, which if we look on the map, is up here at the very top of this mountain. And uh, let me just say this right off the bat, getting there is going to be one heck of an adventure. I do not know how this is going to go. I do not know if we're going to be able to make it to the top of that mountain. Not for lack of capability, but more for lack of just sheer space. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and head out into the wilderness. So, uh, this is going to be quite the adventure. I really don't know how this is going to go. I, I genuinely have no freaking clue how this is going to go. And you can see right there, look at this. I'm flooring it in automatic mode. That, that's flooring it. And it takes it that long to actually pick up so you can tell just from that alone that this is not built out to some crazy level i mean obviously it's got slightly altered grip characteristics and a few other altered dynamics for sure but this isn't you know some crazy overpowered over the top rig that's just gonna waltz its way right to the top of the mountain actually on the contrary it's gonna take a good bit of doing to get it up there now, let's see how it does going up this hill with, of course, the Bronco behind it. And the reason why we're bringing the Bronco with us is because, you know, when people go camping in the real world, they usually bring a tow vehicle, you know? And not usually, but sometimes, especially if you've got a really well-put-together setup, you've got a tow vehicle. Whether that's on a trailer or being flat-towed is up to the camper themselves. Now, let's go ahead and make a quick right. We'll stop off at this fuel station to go ahead and, you know, top off our little mini fridge, top off our cooler, and just make sure we're ready for the road ahead. Now, let's see. We'll look at both ways just to make sure nobody's coming out of that other road. And I'm going to turn wide. I may take out a couple cones here, but if I take out a couple of cones, that's no big deal. Oh, yo, what? Wouldn't even take out any cones on the way into the gas station. That's sick. We'll top off on diesel. Just needed a couple of gallons, but that's fine. Run in. Good to go? All right, let's make our way back on out. Now, moving back out onto the main road, I mean, you really do have that feeling in your head most of the time of like, oh, this setup really is in total like nearly $2 million. Because you're talking about, you know, a new or new-ish 6.7 liter diesel powered, you know, commercial chassis Ford. I mean, we're talking like, F650 levels in a long frame, and that's also not to mention the bespoke camper body that is on top of it that is designed all in-house by Earth Rover themselves. So when you're talking about a setup of this caliber, you're talking about a good chunk of change, and then that's not counting the car hauler with the Bronco on top of it, which has also been solid axle swapped and has king coilovers. I mean, that Bronco is built out. It's got 38-inch IROCs on it. I mean, it is ready to freaking go. So let's check our GPS real quick. Now, is this going to get us in the general direction of what we're looking for? So we'll either take this way or we'll go over the bridge and we'll go this way. And then we'll make our way up to the top. Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go over the bridge. See, look at this. Look at this. I can't start in low plus. This is flooring it. I have to start in like low minus, then shift to low, 
then shift to low plus on this power setting. There's no overpoweredness going on here. Let's see. Let's make sure that we don't snag the trailer. All right, we're good. Making our way up over the bridge. This bridge is like, it suddenly becomes a lot narrower when your setup is this long. I'll tell you that. All righty. This is where we're going to get off the pavement, y'all. This is about to get interesting real fast. We got a creek crossing to go through. I think I'm going to put it in low rather than low plus just uh, for the sake of keeping the Bronco on the trailer. I would think that keeping the Bronco on the trailer is definitely a good focal point to have here. So let's see how you do through the creek. It's starting to get a little bit muddy, but she's taking it like a champ, putting down the grip right where it needs to be. Man, these massive trail grapplers are really putting in work. They're doing a really good job, honestly. Let's go back there and check the straps on the Bronco. Let's uh, redo them. Yeah, as you can see, they needed to be redone. The Bronco was getting a little out of sorts, but that's all right. Got it redone, got it restrapped, and it's good to go. Just want to make sure that the trailer doesn't get into any sketchy situations either while we're on our way. Now, if you guys would go camping with this setup yourselves, let me know in the comments down below. Now, as you can see in the rear view mirror and the side view mirrors, we can see the Bronco very clearly on the trailer, but we can also see it back there in the rear view camera. And the rear view camera actually helps us take a look at the front of the trailer, which is actually really handy. Super handy feature to have. Dude, look at that. You can see literally everything going on with the front of the trailer right there in the rear view camera. So dang cool. So dang cool. The interior on this thing is just next level too. <gasps> oh my god! I did not realize the Bronco got that close to falling off the trailer right there. Are you good? Maybe restrap it. Just check it for a second. Make sure it's all good. Okay. It seems fine, but we gotta be we gotta be a lot more careful from now on. Ain't that right, Beans? Yeah? That, I, I think that's right. Yeah, it's definitely right. Now, on our way out to this campground, there will be a short drive on pavement. But trust me, that's very short-lived. Once we make that short drive on pavement, we'll be making a right and getting right back onto the dirt really quick. Just real quick check to make sure nobody's coming. Good to go there. Man, I love looking inside. Look at that! see all the way back into my freaking kitchen i really hope my uh i really hope my food hasn't toppled over in the fridge that would be a not so exciting surprise once we got to camp it's okay we got our microwave we got our fire extinguisher in case we get a little too exuberant with the stove but don't worry about that that's not something that would ever happen under my watch i don't think all right let's give the gps a quick look y'all all right, our right-hand turn should be coming up, and then it's going to be another right after that. It'll go through a small little campground where there's a couple of houses. I shouldn't really say campground area, but more like a home site, homestead kind of area. And then once we get through that, then we'll be on our way to the road that leads to the campground at the top of the hill. Now, the local rangers did warn me that this was a bad idea, taking a rig this big up here. And, you know, but they still offered to let me buy the camping pass, and so... If they, I, I figured, you know, if they offered to let me buy the camping pass, I might as well go for it. And go for it, I did. And they said, you know, we're not liable if you roll your rig off the edge of this mountain. And I said, I understand that. Got me some good insurance. But when, all, when in all reality, my good insurance is my winch cable. But, you know, it's fine. They didn't ask to see the policy. So uh, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Now, I'm going to put it back at a low plus just to give me a little bit more grunt going down this trail. Now, let me swing wide. I'm going to swing really wide here so as not to catch my trailer. And actually, I swung it a lot wider than I needed to. That was super unnecessary, actually. Why did I do that? Super unnecessary. Let's see. Private property, no trespassing. See, that's why I got me the camping pass. Now, if you get, if you get yourself the camping pass, these landowners are uh, not really all that worried about you, uh, you know, driving through their yard. I already talked to the guy. He's chill. He's all good. It's a cool little spot he's got himself, though. Look at that view. Man, I wouldn't be mad waking up to that view every morning. I mean, I know the house is really small, but man, he's got, you know, he's got like a little house, a little shed. He's good to go. Yo, they told me this was going to be tight, but they didn't tell me it was about to be this tight. Oh my God. Ah, uh, this is... Holy smokes. 
You know, when I said I maybe should have listened to those rangers? Maybe I, uh, maybe I really should have. Because I'm having to blow some of these corners, like, right down the center. Because I legitimately, if I followed that trail exactly as it goes, I would get the trailer hung up on every other tree. Oh my god. Yo, I am... I am in a situation already. When I say I'm in a situation, I am... I am definitely in one. Alright. Front of the truck is lodged on a tree. That's fine. At least I'm gonna say it's fine. I'm gonna make my way around this way. But, that trailer's about to get caught. Oh my god. Alright, let's see if we can get... Just a little bit of traction at the front. That's all we need. But here's the issue. Trailer's gonna go right into the tree. So, here's what I am proposing. A, uh... We'll get out our portable winch. And we'll do, like, a portable winch line onto the trailer. We'll help rotate it. And then we'll see if we can, uh... We'll see if we can bring it around to where we need it to be. Let me back this up. There we go. Come on. Oh, man. I didn't think I was going to need the extra power, but boy, do I wish I had the extra power at this point. Oh, dude, she is fighting for it. She is absolutely fighting for it, y'all. Absolutely fighting for it. I think I might have it. I think I might have it. Come on, grab that traction, let's go. We made a little bit of progress. Just a little, but progress is progress in a situation like this. Man, and we ain't even a little bit, like, up the trail here. I'm gonna get out my trusty winch right from the front of the truck. Give it a good pull. There it goes. Just a little bit more, just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Man, I don't know what we're stuck on. Oh! Oh, I think the trailer's in the ground. Holy smokes. All right, my dudes, we might need a little bit of an adjustment here. Oh, my God. Bro, this is, uh, this is getting real. And it's getting real, real quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's what we needed. Make your way around that tree. Make your way around that tree. There it is. Holy crap. Does it keep going all the way around? Oh my god, it's one big S turn. Holy smokes. All right. Bring it around this way. All right, there we go. Again, we're going to have to get creative with this. So Bronco Trailer is going to go to that tree now. Will it shift it far enough? I genuinely don't know. Uh, trail goes down again. Man, remember that time when I said I should have listened to those rangers? Because, you know, they probably knew what they were talking about. This is one of those times. Oh my god. Oh my jeez. Okay. Yeah, this is a, um, this is an actual situation. Like, this is not just like, you know, oh, that, that kind of stinks. No, this is an actual situation now. I think I might be in somewhat of a good spot, though. Pull. Yes. Doable. Doable. Come on. Get it off that branch. And we're good to go. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh my god. Bro, this turned into something way crazier than I thought it was going to be. This is probably the tightest trail I've ever attempted to take this, this rig down. And especially with a trailer and not all that much power. Bro, you're, you're really dialing up the difficulty really freaking fast with all that. I think the trailer's caught on a rock, but that's a pretty easy fix. There we go. Got it dislodged from the rock. Oh! Oh! Oh, God! Oh, no! Oh, jeez. Um... Well? 
I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I legitimately don't know. I, uh, I'm at a loss for words now because I can't go super wide. I wonder if I can just go straight. I don't have enough power for that. Dude, oh my god. And all these, all these trees are too small. Oh no. All these trees are too small. Come on. Come on, Earth Roamer. Come on. I know it's not the line. Or at least not the optimal one. But. Okay, we've done that. Now. Can we. Oh, geez. Can we bring this around? Holy bad idea. Holy bad idea. Are you kidding me? I did not just make that work. I did not just make that work. Tell me I did not just make that work. Oh, oh my god. Tell me I did not just make that work. What even is this, like, absolute, like, ridiculous mission we've gotten ourselves into here? I, I, I'm blown away by it. I don't even, oh no! Oh, I don't know if there's any getting around that. And at this point, I think there's really only one option left, and that is to take the Bronco the rest of the way. Now, the only issue with that is, well, uh, getting it off the trailer in the position that it's in, because even just getting it off the trailer results in massive issues for us. So what I'm gonna do is jackknife this whole thing so that it can't roll off, and then I'm gonna change over to it and fire it up and try not to have a massive oof while I'm taking it off the trailer. I'm gonna tether to that tree, back it up just a bit, not bad. Okay, now that we've done that, we're gonna have to crawl up those rocks to get around the earth roamer that we so, uh, well, <laughs> so possibly uh, idiotically parked there. So we're bound to get a ticket later. You know those rangers that I told you about? Yeah, they ain't gonna be happy with us. All right, let me get up and around this rock here. Just a little further. Almost. Yo, these branches are annoying. I'll tell you right now, those are some, like, properly annoying branches. All right. Easy. Next set of rocks. This thing is doing properly well with the rock crawling. All right, so we got actually up and around the Earth Roamer super easily. I didn't think it was going to do it all that easily. But here we... Whoa! Whoa! Here we are, and now we just got to make it the rest of the way up the trail, and I think we can do it pretty, uh, pretty smoothly. We got the phone right there running. We got the phone actually controlling the GoPro. Easy does it. Love that these new Broncos come with GoPro mounts right here in the cabin. It's probably one of the coolest parts of the whole thing. Whoa, God, this gets narrow. Yeah, I... I am honestly kind of glad that we left the Earth Roamer where we did because uh, regardless, it looks like we're sleeping in the Bronco tonight. Man, we're going to have to figure out a way to get the Earth Roamer out of there, aren't we? Because this got, this got so real so fast. I really don't know if the Earth Roamer would even be able to make it across that one section of trail without rolling off. I mean, it's that gnarly up here. God, this trail ride is insane. Should only be a little bit more distance to the actual summit, though. That section down there is probably one of the hardest parts of the entire trail ride. Come on, little Bronco. Let's go. Almost there. Gorgeous views from up here, though. Absolutely incredible. Such a beautiful summit. It really, really is. And we're not technically even at the summit yet. We're dang close, but we ain't there. Ooh, should be just a little bit more to go now. Should we take the... You know what? Yeah, we're taking the fun line. There we go. Just a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Come on, Bronco. Let's go. I'm always down to take the fun line. Yes. Love the fun way into camp. And this... Well, it looks like this is going to be our uh, our Airbnb accommodation for the night. 
It's beautiful up here, I'll tell you what, but man, that, uh, that Earth Roamer didn't necessarily have the best time getting up here, did it? Because, man, yeah, that was a, that was, no! That was a sketch, sketch drive. We left with an Earth Roamer and a Bronco, and, well, let's just say we ended at the summit with just a Bronco, and... We're gonna have to figure a way to get that Earth Roamer out of there, but not before we get a good night's sleep up here and then wake up and uh, make some breakfast on that grill in the morning. But if you guys enjoyed this camping role play, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.